Hey guys, what's up? Danny Nui Audio here. This is going to be my first Pro Tools tutorial video. This video is going to show you how to start recording in Pro Tools. There are many different versions of Pro Tools out there. At the moment, I have Pro Tools 9. But if you have an older version of Pro Tools, like maybe Pro Tools 8 or Pro Tools 7, then this, uh, this video should apply to, to older versions of Pro Tools as well. As Pro Tools is loaded, I just want to let you guys know that uh, if you want to start recording, you're probably going to need a microphone, either a, a dynamic or a condenser microphone. Also, you're probably going to need an a interface. Something good to start with is probably like an Mbox or something like that. You probably find something on Craigslist to save some money. When you start Pro Tools, the first thing you see is this window is going to pop up. You can have many different choices from the left side. Create session from template, create blank session, open recent session file, open session. For now, I'm just going to click create blank session. As for the audio file type, you have different. You have two different choices, WAVE or AIF, AIFF. I'm just going to go ahead and click WAVE. As for bit depth, you have two choices, 16-bit or 24-bit. Obviously, the 24-bit will be higher quality than the 16-bit. The reason why you probably pick 16-bit over 24-bit is probably um, if you don't have like a big hard drive and you don't have that much space left on your hard drive, you probably pick 16-bit so you get like um, smaller file sizes. As for uh, sample rate, same thing with the bit depth. The higher the sample rate, the higher the quality. From now, I'm just gonna pick 44.1 kilohertz. As for the I/O settings or the uh, in and out settings, I'm just gonna go ahead and select last used. Click OK. Name your Pro Tools session file. I'm just going to name it Pro Tools session. And just select where you want to save it. For now, I'm just going to save it on the desktop. OK, you should open up. And the first thing you should do is uh, go to track, click new track. You'll see this pop open. Or what else? Another thing you can do is uh, Use the command key shortcut is command shift n to open it up. On a PC, I think it might be a control shift n or alt shift n. Not sure though. Okay, back to the new tracks. You're using a mono microphone, so you can select mono. As for the audio tracks over here, you you see that you have different uh, choices to pick from: aux input, audio track, max, master fading, mini track, instrument track. For now, just Select audio track. Select samples. Click create. Okay. Over here, you can double click it and name your track. For now, I'm just going to click, just name it, uh, I'm going to name it new track. Okay. Over here, you'll see your inputs. This is your inputs, and this is your outputs. For your input, depending on where you uh, plugged in your microphone to, if you have an inbox, then it's probably going to be either one or two. But for me, I think I uh, plugged into input seven, so I guess like input seven, the output is going to be one and two. That's usually going to be default. And just click over here and record enable the track. You should be able to see uh, levels on the meter here. If you're using a condenser microphone and you're not getting any uh, levels over here, then you probably haven't turned on your uh, phantom power yet. Condenser microphones require a uh, phantom, phantom power to operate. Okay, uh, uh, phantom power usually is it's, it's either it's either built in into your interface or you might have a external uh, uh, power source for your microphone. Okay, now if you want to begin recording, s select the record button over here. You'll see a flashing. And then you could either click play or uh, press the space bar on your keyboard and it'll, been, and it'll begin recording. As you can see, it's recording right now. The lower, the lower the levels, the lower the sounds you're getting, the higher the levels. As you can see on the waveform. If you want to stop recording, you can either uh, press the space bar or click on the stop button right here. If you want to play back what you just recorded, just unselect the record enable and click play. 
and it should be able to play what you just recorded. The click that you're hearing is uh, the click track right here. And to stop it. And if you want to save, you go files, save as, and you just name it, you know, whatever you want to name it. Just save. Yes. And that's how you start recording in Pro Tools. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Danny Nunian Audio, signing out.